Alright guys, more Isaac. Let's try it again. So last round was really good. Like the game just gave me that win, so that was awesome. So last run we unlocked Samson, so I wanna play Samson. So uh Samson's actually pretty good. So you just uh, his they changed him. They changed him, they gave him more HP so now he has Isaac starting health. If I had a bomb, I would totally trade you a bomb for a tinted rock and a key. So if you can give me a bomb, that would be great. Um, so now, instead of having, I think he had one red heart and one spirit heart in the last game, now he has Isaac starting health, and they changed his rage effect. So, in the previous game, his rage effect would be, uh, he would gain damage over time in the room for as many enemies he's killed. So, you know, the enemies are in the room, the more enemies you kill, the more damage you do, right? But then it restarted every single room. So, you know, you'd be at the strong damage, and all of a sudden, next room, nope, you're back to start. And you gotta do it all over again. So they decided to change it in this game, and what they changed it to is uh, for every damage you take on the floor. On the floor, you get stronger and stronger as time progresses. So, you know, if I would take damage from enemies, you know, the stronger I would get for the into- Ooh, wow. Little Brimstone on the first item room. Not bad. Little Brimstone can probably carry me to Mom, as what Northern Line says, so I want to go ahead and test this. So, I got Little Brimstone in the first item room. I didn't get a bomb, which sucks, so maybe get the crate for- Beating the sloth? Monstro. Well, you're breaking Monstro's law. He's supposed to be on the second floor. Alright, so. Instead of pressing the button, which is what I usually do, I gotta press and hold the button now. So, little brimstone. And of course, uh. You know, uh, Samson will still fire. It's just. I gotta press and hold the button so little brimstone can charge. So, but little brimstone is just like brimstone. So, you know, he charges the shot. Just like, just like a brimstone. That's, it's, it's arguably one of the, oh wow, alright. Caffeine pill, so, I'm faster, and look at my, look, look at that, that's, that's hilarious, look, I'm so skinny, like, <laughs> alright, let's move on to the next floor, also I get a pill, so, I guess I can go ahead and see, uh, see what it is, please don't be bad trip, actually, yeah, I'll go in here, worth it. I, st I was thinking about it, and I was like, um, well, you know, the more damage I take on this floor, the stronger I get. So, you know, that's not terrible. Oh, I also don't have any keys. So, that's not awesome. Yeah. So, definitely what I want to do is get enough money to make uh, the arcade appear. I think you need five cents and it appears on every second floor. So, this is the second floor. I clearly don't have five cents. I don't think the arcade will appear. But uh, it would be awesome if it did. So, I can go to the blood bank and then, you know, donate my health to get money. Which, of course, is a fine exchange. And, uh, get stronger, you know. Key or a bomb, you know, I would I would take either or again. If you want to go ahead and, uh, give me a key or a bomb. No, you're just giving me red hearts. I'm not even playing on hard mode, like, hello? Like, hard mode is the known for not having many consumables. Should I just get cheap and just keep my distance and let little Brimstone handle it? Because he can can he's a monster I think he might be the best familiar you know some you know there's there's some arguments there's some debates you know I'd say I'd say definitely you know there's you know just the idea of a familiar being able to carry you all the way mom by itself because it's brimstone and brimstone is the strongest item in the game so why is little brimstone not the strongest familiar in the game like it doesn't make any sense to me oh my god Larry Jr. all right well little brimstone's got this Little Brimstone has got this. Larry Jr. is kind of annoying, but if you have Little Brimstone... Also, i got to remember that he's a little bit behind me. Wow, no deal with the devil. I didn't get touched. I earned the deal with the devil game. Alright, alright, and I got a tear shot speed up. I'll take the tears up. Shot speed up, nah. It's not as... Shot speed up is not as bad in this game as it was in the last game. And are you shitting me? You're absolutely not going to give me any keys. Wow, no. Absolutely not going to give me any keys. Or bombs. I'm not playing on hard mode, am I? I don't remember playing on hard mode. Like, hello? Two red chests. Guppy's paw. Alright, well. I'm one third on my way to becoming Guppy. I can always trade my, uh... 
or red hearts or spirit hearts if need be. I doubt it though. At the current moment, but I got no other freaking space bar items, so why not? Finally a bomb. That would have been great last floor. Now I need a key. Keys are keys are nice too. Yeah, just get wrecked by little brimstone. So Northern Lion said that little brimstone can carry you all the way to mom, so let's see if that's true, because literally I'm not getting any consumables to even access anything. Well, if you want to give me an arcade, I would be ecstatic. I would love to go to the arcade. I'm going against Sloth, so... You're going to give me Bob's Rotten Head or a Tinted... I mean, not a Tinted Rock. I, wa I really want a Tinted Rock and that's since I got a Bob. No, um, a Tarot card. Wait, why am I not using a little Brimstone? Hello? Because I keep forgetting about him. I'm like, oh, no, I don't need a little Brimstone. I got this. Alright, gave me a Tarot card. Because I keep forgetting about him. I, and when I play, I'm so used to tapping. Uh, High Priestess is fine. I should take this pill. Balls of Steel. That's a good pill. I'm glad I took it. Alright, access the item room. Telep tele telepathy for dummies. So I should pick it up and put it back down because I clearly do not want that. I'd much rather, I'd rather have Guppy's Paw that does absolutely nothing for me right now than telepathy for dummies. I am not a big fan of that item. It's arguably one of the worst items in the game. Well, it's one of the worst items in the game. I, I don't think it's the worst item in the game. I think you'd much rather have telepathy for dummies than Butterbean, so. I'll give, I'll give it that, but I don't want that. I'd rather have Guppy's Paul win. Be able to make use of that later. Oh, wow, now I'm actually getting some consumables on this floor. Wait, I could just stand behind this rock. Hello? I forgot about that. Another tarot card. What is it? The Lovers. Well, you know what? If I have an arcade on this floor, I will definitely come back for that. So, apparently, it's... You, your damage scales with Samson up to um, six hits. So, so pretty much, uh, if I find a, a blood bank or something, uh, you know, three hearts or six hits would equate to me being at max damage for the floor. I think it's, it's either three or three and a half. So that messed me up, little Brimstone. I, I was I was gonna rely on you to kill him. And then uh, he attacked me, and I was going to get out of the way. Gertie Jr. All right, well, that should be fun. Because Gertie Jr. is fun. All right, I need to stand. Always stand horizontal to Ger Gertie Jr. Always stand horizontal. Never stand vertical. Because if you stand vertical, he bounces up and down, and that's a lot. And he bounces up and down much faster than he bounces left and right. Uh, that's a evil range shot. That's pro probably might be the worst upgrade in this game. Gotta do a double and goat head? Goat head? I will be taking that goat head. Give me that goat head. Alright. Deals with the devil from now on. Yes. I'm not trying to speed or go to boss rush mode. I am pretty chill right now. What was that? Oh, the lover's card. Alright. Looking for a little bit more money. I could probably find the secret room. I'm guessing the secret room is right no, no, can't be there. Ooh, I thought it was gonna be right there. It might be inside this, next to this mob trap room. I might do that. Wow, alright, well, it's definitely not there in the middle. Let me see. What's here? No, it can't be there either, damn. I don't think it could be there. It's either here or there. I'm gonna guess here. Yep. Some golden poop. Yes, yes, yes. Give me some money and. What floor are we on? Caves 2. Alright. No, Caves 1. Caves 1. Alright, if we're on Caves 1, then I definitely wanna go to the arcade on the next floor, so. You know what? I'm gonna pop in the shop, see what they got. Do I want anything? I'll purchase the spirit heart. I don't need the plug. I need to start upgrading my, uh, my, uh, thing. Definitely. We're just gonna go on to the next floor. We're good. Well, so far this run's definitely not as broken as the last run, but we're doing okay. You know? 
You know what, little brimstone? I would love for you to help me in this room, but I don't want to fuck up like I did last time with some skeleton dudes. So I was trying to dodge out of the way of his attack while still allowing little brimstone to get in the shot, and I forgot that, you know, he's a little bit behind me because he's a familiar, right? So he's following me. So I kind of messed that up with his whole, you know, attack thing. So these enemies, my damage isn't good, but I'll try to handle them by myself because... They kind of get out of the way with little brimstone. I don't want to you know, mess him up. A box of tarot cards, really? Well, give me a card. Uh, which button is it? Nope, 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 nope. That was the wrong button. I'm bad. Emperor. I will definitely take the emperor card. Do I want Guppy's Paul? You know what? I still want Guppy's Paul. I still want Guppy's Paul. That was bad. I'm still not used to the controls yet. And I'm too slow to even get out of the way of the High Priestess. Oh well. I got the Emperor card, so I, I can't complain. That's the shop, right? Oh, I just got a key. Oh, thank you for giving my spirit heart back. Um, yeah. Yeah, humble, hum, humble bundle is a good item. So, now... I get double the consumables that drop, so double bombs, double keys, double money, double hearts, double double. Double see, double money. Told you. No 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 no. So do not back me up into this damn corner. Alright, little brimstone, charge it up. Fire. Well, I could go back, get the the box of terror cards. If that was my shop, then what's that room over there? We might go to that. I got extra keys. Especially with Humbling Bundle. Like, I'm gonna get extra keys. Every time I get one key, I get two keys, so. Like that, but I can't reach that, clearly. I'm gonna go back to that room. I guess I can grab the Box of Terror cards, because there's the battery charger. I can use the Box of Terror cards, I guess. Definitely gonna go in here. Don't know why I forgot to go in there. Pills. Speed down. I was already not that fast. And hematomesis. Alright, not terrible, I guess. What's in here? Book of Belial and Book of Revelations. <sighs> Do I want a spirit heart, though? No, I don't want a spirit heart. If I fight a horseman, I'll come back for it. Definitely. But I, don't, I really don't want to fight a horseman. This this floor. I need more stat upgrades, so. I'll, I'll just take the Book of Belial. Which, of course, Book of Belial is like one of the best space bar items in the game. So, I'm actually really happy I went back for that. I mean, I love you, Guppy's Ball. Like, I was thinking about maybe holding on to you, but it's cool. It's cool. We're cool, Guppy's Ball. So, we're just going to head over to the boss. I mean, I, get, I got a battery, so I guess I can use Book of Belial and then get the battery. So I'm not really the hugest fan of uh, Box of Tarot cards. Do I know what that pill is? No, I don't. Amnesia. Alright, well, that's not terrible. I'm almost at the end of this floor anyway. I said, if we're fighting a horseman, and I think Book of Belial guarantees you a deal with the devil. Yeah, it does, because Judas always gets a deal with the devil. So, getting uh, getting the goat head was now completely redundant as long as I stick with Book of Belial, because now I, I always get a guaranteed devil, not deal with the devil, not even through Book of Belial and through Goat's Head. So that was kind of redundant. Anyway, double Duke of Flies. That's chill. I almost didn't talk about Duke of Flies because he's so damn easy. Like, he's he's a really easy boss. You know, if your damage isn't good, a speed upgrade to go with that speed downgrade that I have. Really? Like, no, I'm not going to pay a red heart for Sister Maggie. Like, absolutely not. <sighs> Alright, you know what? 
this is wasting time. I know it's wasting time. I know it's wasting time. But I want to ensure that, you know, my chances of victory are higher than usual. You know, so, if I don't take every single opportunity to do well, then what? Okay. I was thinking about going back, getting the Book of Revelations, using it, carrying it all the way back here, getting that battery and doing it again, but no. I'm just going to take the battery in the Book of Belial, use that next floor, come back here, use the Book of Revelations, because of course I'm not going to be fighting against a horseman this floor, duh. Get me one spirit heart. I'm doing all this for one fucking spirit heart. It's right here. One fucking spirit heart. Give me Book of Belial, and now we're leaving. You might think it was a waste of time, but, you know, I'm not trying to go for boss rush mode. Also, Isaac definitely drops frames because we're definitely not in sync with the amount of time. Like, look look at the time. Look at the time at the top of the clock, and then look at the time on YouTube. It's not even remotely close. Like, five minutes, almost five minutes. <laughs> five minute difference. Definitely not going to pay a heart for freaking Sister Maggie. Like... De Devil, you should be ashamed you even offered me that deal. You're like, oh, well, you got a familiar, so you like familiars, right? I'm like, no. Not her. How about you offer me, like, Dark Bum? <laughs> dark Bum. Like, Dark Bum plus Humbling Bundle is like, oh my god. So, if you want to offer me that as a deal with Devil, most definitely, because... You know, Dark Bum's probably one of the most powerful deal with the di de deal with the devil. Oh my god, enunciate items in the game, so. Am I done? Oh my god, these brain dudes. I hate zomb zombies. They're just annoying to fight. What's this pill? Bad gas, alright. Oh, fucking guys that jump. I'm pretty much completely relying on uh, Little Brimstone here. And so far, he's still like the best item that we've gotten so far. You know? Now, if the game wants to give me Brimstone with a deal with the devil, then I'll definitely take it. I wonder if I'll earn enough money to go to the shop. Oh, wow, they hit. Yeah, I thought he was going to go down a little bit lower than that. There we go. I don't like those enemies. Alright. The hands. The hands. Hurry up. Oh, there's another one. There we go. If I earn enough money, I'll definitely go to the shop. I got plenty of keys, though. This is, uh, Depths 1, isn't it? I'll see you after I'm done with this room. I think it's Depth's one. I don't think it's the mom fight yet. Let me see. Depth's one, yeah. Alright, Depth's one, then you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and fight the boss. Monster 2. Alright, not a terribly hard boss. I actually prefer Monster to a lot of bosses, so. Cause he's just not that hard. Alright, Monster 2, I can do a pseudo brimstone attack too. Oh. I'm trying to charge up a little brimstone, but he's taking a lot longer to charge than I anticipate him to. Little Brimstone, you need to get a tears upgrade. <laughs> there, you're dead. Give me a spirit heart, cool. An HP upgrade, which I will definitely take. And the deal with the devil is... <sighs> yeah, I'll take it. 
I unlocked Krampus. Cool. Krampus is awesome. So if I can fight some Krampus, I can either get, uh, 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 oh my god, Lump of Coal or Krampus's head. And both of those items are really good. So, cool. Krampus. So, I traded my HP upgrade that I just got for Infected Baby. Infected Baby is actually pretty good. Uh, he spawns a fly. He spits out flies, and of course, flies are uh, two times my damage. So, he's a familiar that gives me two times my damage. So, pretty much, I have a familiar that's supposed to be like a pseudo brimstone, and a fly is supposed to be like a pseudo guppy. So, you know, hopefully, those two combined. I'll be able to pull something off, you know. We got pseudo versions of, like, two of the best things in this game, so. Alright, I think... It, nope, 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 there's more. And I didn't get that one. Little Brimstone wasn't ready. There's the item room. Definitely gonna be going to that. Oh, still a nub. This room is not that intimidating. More keys. We got lots of keys. Uh, cancer. HP plus you feel protected. Uh, I'm not a cancer. I'm a, I'm a Gemini myself. But you know, if you want to offer me Gemini, I'll take them. I actually kind of like that item. It's actually a pretty good item. So, so you, you hearing me, game? I can't get over there. I say I would love to get over there. Child's heart. Nah. Are there seriously like no arcades? Like, this is amazing that there's like no arcades anywhere. Alright, I'm just gonna hold a little brimstone, pull back. There you go. I uh, don't have enough money to make the shop worthwhile, but I could bomb my my donation machine and get the money, but do I really want to do that? I'll do it. I, the only reason why I did it is because I wanted to earn enough money. And I think that, that was enough money. That was scary. Yep, that's enough money. So we will definitely be going to the shop. Can we fight greed on this floor? I think we can. I think we can fight fight greed on this floor, so that might not be the best, but eh, I mean it'll give me more money for next shop. Unless I fight greed on next shop too. And it's that case and wow. Alright, my tarot card is the strength. It is the strength, just strength, alright. Um, stick it with the Emperor, because the Emperor is, like, really good. I should have used my Book of Belial. I, I hate Book of Belial, because I get that too-good-to-use syndrome. But I only use it on bosses, even though its charge rate is actually pretty good. It's, you know, three-room charge. So. Mom's Purse. I don't even have one trinket, let alone, you know, two. I'm going to donate two cents, and then I'm going to go down to the next floor. Like I said, I need to get some shop upgrades. Because they're not offering me, like, anything that I want, so. Alright, we're just going to go down to the next floor. Go ahead and fight Mom. And so, right now, we have max HP. You know, we're at the cap. You can't get any more HP than that. So, let's chill. That's why I'm so readily ready to trade... What's in here? You know what? I got enough keys. A dime. Alright. Well, as long as I don't fight against... Uh... Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Greed. You know, then I'll probably be able to trade some of this money, donate some of this money. Normal luck, I'm probably gonna fight Greed, though. this room. Like I said, because well, when I play Isaac, I look directly at Isaac or whoever I'm playing as. So these enemies catch me off guard a lot. 
because I'm not looking. I have to look past the character and look at, you know, what's going on in the room, and I don't like that. I also don't like these enemies. These enemies with the stretchy ass necks. Damn it. Like, you're catching me off guard with this stretchy necks. It's just like, alright, your your frame is right here. And then you're like, uh, no, my frame is here because it's in my neck. Like, like fuck your stretchy neck, nigga. <laughs> Item room contains those. Oh, that's the mother. Damage plus HP. They actually, I think that item did nothing. No, no, it was toothpicks that did nothing in the original game. So, Stigmata is cool with me. Damage plus HP. You can't ask much. You can't ask for more than that. Like, damage and HP are like the bread and butter of this game. So, getting that in one item in the item room, I'm totally chill with that. Actually, you know what? I'm actually... I might have enough time to actually make the, the boss gauntlet real if I kind of hurry up and find Mom already. I might do it. I might do it. I might do it. Of course, that means if I do do it, then that means that I can't use my Book of uh, Charge from Mom, but I should be okay. My damage is better, so... So... You know what? Screw it. Red Mom. Oh my god, yes, Red Mom is like the easiest mom. And then I take damage. And Red Mom's like my ideal mom boss, because she's much easier. And I said, we might, we might make it in time. So she doesn't spawn any enemies. All she does is just try to stomp on you and then occasionally shoot out uh, something, some shots from the side like she did and caught me off guard. That's it. Uh, I win. Uh... Maybe. I'll take the HP upgrade after I'm done with this deal with Devil Lamarck, yes. Damage up. I will take the placenta. I will go in here. Is there anything I want? That spider bite? Cursed eye. Spider bite. Flush. And I don't know what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and take spider bite for the slow effect. And then I'm going to use Book of Allow. Alright, so this is the boss gauntlet. I pretty much had to fight every single boss up to mom every single one I know it, it sounds scary doesn't it it's gonna take a cool minute guys it's gonna take a cool minute especially since I'm not trying to fuck with Gertie right now Gertie Jr. that's Gertie Jr. every single one Keratin Queen all of them Keratin Queen's probably the worst boss the worst boss because she spawns those poops which, of course, uh, stay for the entire battle. The enemies can actually land on the poops, which actually hurt them, which is funny, but, you know, I could be, like, running from a boss or something and then accidentally step on the poop, so that's why, generally, I'm not a big fan of that. Oh, she's dead. But like I said, this may take a cool minute. So, if you want to go ahead and kind of skip past this part, my power to you, but I, th I had to get the boss gauntlet done with all characters, so, being able to get it done with Samson, even though I felt like I was going slow. I felt like I was going slow. I'm, I'm pretty slow and methodical, you know, Binding of Isaac character. I'm, I'm not like, gotta go fast. I'm not like Sanic, so, you know, I'm a, on my mind, I'm kind of like, oh, you know. I'm kind of like, oh, you know, I'm take it nice and slow, methodical, make sure that I don't skip anything. Even though I did, I actually skipped um, the item room. I mean, not the item room, the shop. Which is fine, because, like I said, I'd rather get this done. Wow, Blastasis is actually being annoying. 
Why don't you split up already? Thank you. Fucking blast assist, you're annoying. You're not hard, you're just being annoying. Gemini and, uh, Steven. Yeah, I told you guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm bad at Binding of Isaac, as in, I don't play enough, but I know my lore. You know? I watch Northern Lion almost every single day, so. I think I do watch Northern Lion play Binding of Isaac every single day. So, you know. Well, me, on the other hand, I don't play, I definitely don't play every day, you know. I'm thinking about actually streaming this on uh, Twitch one day. Maybe like one Sunday. Just stream it on Twitch. Stream a couple runs on Twitch with you guys. And then upload them to YouTubes. Just have a whole bunch of episodes of Binding of Isaac done. So it's Chad. Alright, I know it's Chad. No Northern Lions are like, oh, it's Chubb. Like, no, that's the other boss. This is Chad. And of course, this is Monstro. You know Monstro. You've met before. You've met almost every single run. I got stuck on that rock for a second. Monstro's dead. There's Chubb. Hi, Chubb and Gertie. We just kind of sit there at the top. Oh, that was close. I'm not used to having this big old distance between uh, Gertie. I'd say okay, I could just hide behind this rock. And Gertie was nice enough to give me a spirit heart for taking damage, so I'll pick that up. Oh, see, I see, I told you the poop. The poop was gonna catch me off guard when I wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, monstro fucking too. Now that's some dirtiness. Shooting me from across the room where I can't even see your ass. I said monstro two is one of the worst. Because he can shoot you across the room, and you can't even see his ass. Alright, uh... I forgot who that, no, what that guy's name is. Ah, uh, what was that guy's name? I can't remember his name. Wow. I can't remember his name for the love of me right now. Nope, can't remember his name. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Alright, the Widow and Pin. Pin actually got buffed. Pin used to be the weakest boss in the game, but he actually got a buff. I mean, Brimstone still just destroyed them. Uh, the Hollow and uh, the Husk. Now I'm just playing a game of can you name every single boss? Like, apparently no, because I cannot remember that fucking inky guy's name. He has an item, his item is named after him, but I just, for the love of God with me, cannot remember his name right now. And if he said his name, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's his name. Uh, the Bloat and Mask of Infamy. I forgot he could do that. <laughs> the Bloat is an ass. He's probably one of the worst bosses ever. So, not a big fan of going against the Bloat. I kind of know how to handle him, but, you know, he's not one of my favorite bosses, definitely not. He's like Peep on steroids, so, you know, I'm not a big fan of that. I'm going to take care of Bloat, then I'm going to take care of the heart. Wow, this is an eternal heart. Wow, oh, I'll be sure to pick that up again. Alright, now i got to deal with Mass Infinity. At least i got a little brimstone with me. Like I said, guys, I, I told you this was going to take a cool minute. Cause we got to fight every single boss. We're not even done yet. We still gotta fight against the horsemen. And, and, um, and, uh, and the fallen. Wow, that's two eternal hearts. So, literally, if I go and pick those up right now, I will have an HP upgrade. Oh, here are the horsemen. So, there's famine and pestilence. Then, war and death. Then, the headless horsemen. And fallen and then we should be done right yep war and death take care of war first i mean take care of death first death is harder than war wow did not see that fucking thing coming you know what? i'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and get my hp upgrade right now wow of course it would kind of be over fucking 
spikes like that. There you go. I got it though. Wow, when the fuck did you get off your fucking uh, horse? When did I do enough damage to even do that to war? I wasn't even fighting war. Hmm. I'll definitely take care of freaking death. He's just kind of floating around on his off his horse. All right, headless horseman and uh, the fallen, and then that should be it. Then we will have this completed for Samson. So all we have to do is just do it for all the other characters. And I think we actually get an item unlocked for doing this. I don't remember what we get unlocked for doing this, but I know we get an item unlocked. So all we have to do is just take care of the pony. 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 And we should be done. Samson's chain. Cool. That's not a bad item. And we got a... Uh, uh, something buddy or something like that. Punching bag, alright. Punching bag's actually not a bad item. So I already took the what's in the deal with the devil, right? What was it? I don't even remember what was, the, what was in the deal. Oh, the mark, the mark. Alright, on to the next floor. Room one. I say, when you walk into these rooms, stay still, because they won't be able to blast you. That time, like I said, I don't like those enemies. They catch me off guard. I, I'm a lot, I feel a lot slower than I am, so when they blast, and I'm like, get out of the way. What the fuck hit me? All right. I'm, I wonder if I'm going to get whittled down to death. Because shit's hitting me, and I'm not even paying attention. So... I wonder what I'm going to do with this Emperor card. I'm, when am I going to use it? I might use it for the mom's heart. Just go straight to mom's heart. Or should I just save it for the devil? If I make it to the devil. Like I said, I'm kind of worried I'm going to get whittled down. And die. So. The Empress. Uh, I'm probably going to forget about it. So, Oh, there's Gemini. So, see, they go after my punching bag, unless I'm close by. So, punching bag's actually a pretty good item. You know, if he can make the enemies go after him and not after me, then I'm totally chill with that. See, they're just going after punching bag. Poor punching bag. He doesn't deserve this kind of abuse. Why am I still picking up this money? Hello? I feel like it's gonna be up. I feel like it's gonna be, you know, like adjacent to this place. So you guys already know how much I hate these enemies. I hate all these head swinging neck enemies. These damn giraffes. I'm still getting that too good to use syndrome with Book of Belial, aren't I? I, I, I'm, I bring it up, but then I do nothing about it. I'm just like, oh, Book of Belial, too good to use syndrome. I should use it more often. Don't use it. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Leave punching bag alone. Just die. Leave punching bag alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> yep, I was right. I was right. I was right. I was right. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I hate this room. I hate this room. I hate this room. I hate these enemies. I hate this room. I hate these enemies. I hate brimstone enemies. 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 Mr. Fred. Alright, well. He's a dick. Mm hmm. But he's not too terrible. He's a pretty stationary boss, so... I need to break, kill these guys before they break off their chain. I thought those blood clot things went all the way to the door, but I guess not. 
Oh, well, that one was much longer. Alright, Mr. Fred's down. Give me two spirit hearts, thank you. And the deal with the devil and is that a range upgrade? Like really? Range upgrade. And the deal with the devil is nine lives. No. No, I only have one guppy item. Uh, I only got Guppy's paw, so you know if I if I had like Guppy's uh if I got Guppy's collar with I already had Guppy's collar, I was already at two and nine lives was three, I would have went for it. But only at one, there's really no point. Alright, room one. Uh Gurglings. I say, can I just keep my distance and not get close to these fuckers? That'd be great. Just fuck the gurglings. Stop following me, gurglings. Get away from me. Die. Alright, I'm gonna use the the Empress card on on Shoal. Oh. I thought this was just an empty room. I didn't even notice Pin was here. Nice and disrespectful to Pin. I was just trying to, I'm like, why the hell can I can I go through this door? Hello? <laughs> wow, I accidentally pressed the button. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I accidentally pressed the button. Fine, fine, fine. I just go through Shoal then. Don't have my book of a while or anything. So this should be fun. Alright, can we get some bombs up in there? Wow, that hit me. Battling mom's heart is fun. Oh, I should be doing, using a little brimstone more. I completely forgot about him again. Like usual. Did I ever tell you guys that I'm bad at this game? At this point, you guys probably realize that I'm bad at this game. I think that leaves in the Emperor card when I didn't want to. Wow, alright. Just completely, completely flipped that around on my ass. I do not want to hemorrhage too much HP. We're going down. Alright, we beat Mom's heart with Samson. The wire coat hanger. It's a tears upgrade, not terrible. Oh, not this way. <laughs> so what's harder, Shoal or the Womb? Shoal's pretty... Shoal could have some difficult shit. Did I kill him? I think I killed him. No, he was standing right in front of me. He don't like that enemy. He turns invisible. I don't know where the fuck he's at. Oh, fuck this room. Fuck this room. This room is the worst. Yeah, I get wrecked by the lasers. I didn't even see that enemy there. I'm so bad, I didn't even see him. Yep, get wrecked by the lasers. Oh my god, fuck this room. <laughs> that is one thing about Shoal, though. They have some mean ass rooms. Like, if I can kick you in the nuts, mean. Like, damn. I don't like my fucking punching bag friend because he's catching me off guard. Because he's kind of blending in with all the enemies and shit. Well, I feel like I'm going the right way. Oh, this is not clearly not the right way. Battling the Fallen for no damn reason. Right, don't I fight you enough? I 
Damn, you're just attacking my little buddy. You know what? I'm happy with this run. Even if I don't beat... Even if I don't win on this run, I'm still happy. Dude, you're fucking me up. Oh my god. Punching bag, punching bag buddy, you literally just fucked me with that one. You messed up my dodge. Oh my god, fuck this. Fuck this room, fuck this room, fuck this room, fuck this room. Please pop up. Please pop up. Please pop up. Please pop up. Oh my god, please die. This room is scary as hell. Oh my god. Two fucking slots is not that scary. I'll take two slots any day. Emperor card? Okay. If it was the Emperor card, I would have jumped for joy. What's in here? Oh, these guys. Fucking upside down crucifix. Oh, I should kill them. Yep, I'm hemorrhaging HP like crazy. Fuck these. <sighs> Where are you? Where are you, Satan? Please. <laughs> Ah, uh, this room again? Oh my god, this room sucks ass. Please, just show me where he is. He has to be this way. He has to. <sighs> the dark one. Alright. Hello? Turn that alarm clock off. I'm busy. No, 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 no. Always do never stand below the dark one. What is it? High Priestess, I'll take it. Oh, you know I'm gonna blow up these fires. Oh, they're fucking attacking. Alright, Punching Bag, you're really fucking me up. Like, really extremely fucking me up. There's a Spirit Heart. No Spirit Hearts. Alright, I was right. Oh my god, I hate these enemies. Shoal is the butts. The butts. This place sucks. <laughs> I'm kind of mad that I accidentally pressed that button. I would much rather... Memo to myself. I'd much rather deal with the wound than deal with fucking Shoal. If I'm not that powerful. I'm strong, but I'm not like, you know, end all, be all strong. Let's go ahead and use this. Nope, still, still don't get the timing right. Wow, alright. My little buddy's actually kind of helping keep one of the Fallen's distracted. Alright, devil, let's go. Wow, that hit me? All right. Why am I standing on the same side as you? Hello? Attack him! Attack him! Attack him! Attack him! He's standing right there for your, for your bidding pleasure, devil. Like, attack him. Not me. All right. That should be fun.
I win. I win. Done. Done. Give me that spear heart. I don't even need it. Blood rights. Ew. Alright, that's a shitty item. I'm glad I got it unlocked. <laughs> Ugh. Yes. Win. Go ahead, when Isaac is all transforming into those different characters, make sure he transforms into Charlie Sheen, because I'm winning. Woo! Blood rights. Yay. Alright, there we go. I am done with this run of Binding of Isaac. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. He got a, a lot accomplished in Samson. We beat Mom's Heart, we beat, Sh we beat Satan, and we did the boss, uh, uh, the boss gauntlet, boss rush. So, awesome. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. The run wasn't powerful, even like I said. It wasn't extremely blow you out the water powerful, but it pulled through. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next time with some more Binding Isaac Rebirth. Thanks for watching.